somebody that never had light in his life when it's dark. We met Patrick. Without Patrick, to see the light is like a miracle. And it shouldn't be a miracle in the 21st century. I founded the solar power industry in the state of Israel. I thought it was going to be very easy. See the sun, it's always shining. Six months max. We've lived our whole lives in debt. <laughs> it's just as close to zero as we can get. Like a bulldog. He just put his teeth in something and doesn't give it up. We also did the first solar fields in Africa. From this mountaintop, we call on the United Nations to affirm that access to green power and affordable green power should be elevated as a fundamental human right for all of humanity and for all people. When I'm at the feast, I'm not going to show up for all the time. I'm going to be at the During the meetings, there's a man standing behind me. I don't know who he is. So now he has heard our proposal. This is very dangerous. He just heard $100 million. I actually told the Israeli government, if we see corruption, we're leaving. Mazel Tov! This is solar energy! Solar energy, the remedy to sever all dependency. We never see the heavenly gates open. If you don't go green, that's what they're telling me. Nobody would believe that we can get a project done in Burundi. The second poorest country in the world. So to do 15% of their power, there would be a revolution. First contract, we signed it in 2015. A day after, there was a coup attempt. I told him, nothing is lost. We are here, we figure out, and we make it happen. Don't say it's not going to be done. Mm -hmm. Say it will be done. It will be done. Prophetically, the Bible says, Israel shall give light. It was so spiritual that Israel now came physically to give light into Africa. Please God, in 30 days we'll go to financial close and maybe we'll have some money come in here. <laughs> it's done.